Okay, so uh, this is my last attempt at trying to get a video up to you today. Uh, an Android update came down, and I wonder if it's messing with uh, YouTube. And uh, I may just end up putting this on Rumble. And well, actually, I will put it on Rumble because this is going to be a massively long, <laughs> long video. <laughs> Holy moly! I was going to put up like three videos today because I was taking it easy after uh, hiking uh, the trails all week long, but. Um, Let's just get a little bit into the news. Um, and by the way, I won't call the uh, this the Biden administration anymore. I will say the Obama administration because I do that believe that uh, from what I found out that he is the he is the puppet master. I think he's pulling the strings. Uh, and, and of course, we are continuing to give billions to Ukraine. Uh, and I, I, I I'm sure you follow the news. Uh, Trump's visit to Palestine giving food and water to um, to the residents there was a huge political move. I mean, my God, the Biden administration, while they, they're over giving billions of dollars to Ukraine uh, and, and ignoring uh, our, you know, giving our tax funds away uh, and ignoring the American people, uh, America last, right? That's that's what we need. The, the, what, what would we call that? Because MAGA is make America great again. I guess we should call the Biden administration America, make America last <laughs> again. <laughs> Cuz that that was the that was the Obama administration to make America last again. I, we should we should put some hats on. You know, put put the put the democrat uh, colors on the hat uh, and and say make America last uh, again. So that that's that's where that needs to be. Um, so anyway, it was a brilliant uh, move and so I thought I'd just start the video with uh, Trump uh, and by the way, that, this all just kind of evolved. I've been trying to make this video all damn day long. And, uh, and like I said, it'll be up on Rumble for sure. Uh, this, this is going to be a huge video. This is going to take a long time. Hell, you, you might have to wait. You might have to watch a whole hour. My God, you <laughs> your attention spans 10 minutes. Holy moly. Come on. Why isn't it playing? Oh, there we go. three has never been closer than it is right now. We need to clean house of all of the warmongers and America last globalists and the deep state, the Pentagon, the State Department, and the national security industrial complex. One of the reasons I was the only president in generations who didn't start a war is that I was the only president who rejected the catastrophic advice of many of Washington's generals, bureaucrats, and the so-called diplomats who only know how to get us into conflict, but they don't know how to get us out. For decades, we've had the very same people, such as Victoria Nuland and many others just like her, obsessed with pushing Ukraine toward NATO, not to mention the State Department support for uprisings in Ukraine. These people have been seeking confrontation for a long time, much like the case in Iraq and other parts of the world, and now we're teetering on the brink of World War III. And a lot of people don't see it, but I see it. And I've been right about a lot of things. They all say Trump's been right about everything. None of this excuses in any way the outrageous and horrible invasion of Ukraine. Of course, uh, you know, I got to give some commentary. You know, as much as I love Trump, God knows he had some terrible people in his administration, John Bolton and the warmongers and... Uh, uh, they, they, they. Well, I mean, you know, think about it. He's a civilian coming into the the, the machine. That's what uh, Dave Rubin likes to call it, the machine, and uh, and and trying to to carve out uh, what's best for the American people. And uh, man, I tell you, the, the everything went against him. The uh, the CIA, the FBI, the Justice Department, uh, the media. I mean, it was just a huge machine that just came up against Trump. And uh, I, I'm sure he was just like, you know, going holy. And of course, and what could he do? He just had to strike out with his mean tweets. <laughs> Actually, I love those mean tweets. And so let's just continue to watch. One year ago which would have never happened if I was your president, not even a little chance. But it does mean that here in America, we need to get rid of the corrupt globalist establishment that has botched every major foreign policy decision for decades. And that includes President Biden, whose own people said he's never made a good decision when it comes to looking at 
other countries and looking at wars, we have to replace them with people who support American interests. Over our four years in the White House, we made incredible progress in putting the America last contingent aside and bringing the world to peace. And now we're going to complete the mission. The State Department, Pentagon, and National Security Establishment will be a very different place by the end of my administration. In fact, just into my administration. i not sure we're going to make it to 2024. <laughs> I mean, from everything I'm seeing. I, you know, I'm sorry. I, I'm not trying to be a pessimist, but, you know, I love Trump's optimism and, uh, and everything that he's trying to do. But uh, I, the warmongering Democrats and the Diablos, uh, you know, and, and people have pointed out on my videos, they say, well, you just call them warmongering Democrats. Well, you got to understand the, the uniformity of the Democrat Party is completely for the war. There are some dissenting uh, MAGA Republicans, not many. I mean, you know, if you want to look at Mitch McConnell or Lindsey Graham or, or Mitt Romney, I mean, you know, the... Uh, thank God Liz Cheney's gone. I mean, you know, I mean, but yeah, there's a hell of a lot of, uh, well, a lot of people like to call them uh, rhinos. I, I call them Diablos. It'll be a very different place and it'll get things done just like I did four years ago. We never had it so good. We'll also stop the lobbyists and the big defense contractors from going in and pushing our senior military and national security officials toward conflict only to reward them when they retire with lucrative jobs, getting paid millions and millions of dollars. Take a look at the globalist warmonger donors backing our opponents. Yeah. That's because they're candidates of war. I am the president who delivers peace, and it's peace through strength. There was a reason we had no conflict. There was a reason we didn't get into wars, because other countries respected us. I entirely built all right from the beginning, rebuilt our military. It's a big reason for that. They didn't want to mess around with the United States and now they're laughing at us. We could end the Ukraine conflict in 24 hours with the right leadership. All right, so yeah, he rebuilt the military industrial complex, uh, not something that I'm, I'm proud that he did. Uh, uh, spent a lot of US taxpayer dollars, uh, but I mean, he was a good statesman. I, I do think that uh, he could have uh, kept the war from Ukraine and, and kept uh, civil relations between China and, and uh, Russia. Um, and maybe uh, even been somewhat rational, which is not what's happening now, uh, in dealing with those nations and, and respecting them. I think that uh, the difference between Trump and the, uh, the Obama administration now um, is that he had respect for his adversaries and I want to call them adversaries I don't call them enemies and uh, and I and he always wanted to negotiate what was best for the United States and what was best for them I mean you always have to have a win-win and right now everything is a win-lose and that's why we are at war at the end of my next four years the warmongers and frauds and failures of the senior ranks of our government will all be gone and we will have a new group of competent national security officials who believe in defending America's vital interests above all else. Thank you very much. All right, so that's, uh, that's it for that video. Let's go over to, uh, well, let's just talk about a little bit more news before I get into the, the next, uh, like I said, this can be a long damn video. We can turn it off anytime you want. Um, so the Warner, the, the Wagner, um, Yergensi uh, Brigotskin, um, boy, I tell you, he had a huge dispute uh, with the uh, Russian uh, uh, ministers' uh, defense, the Russian ministers' defense, and uh, and because he he said he wasn't getting enough ammo and uh, or trench digging tools, and uh, man, I tell you, I, he he lashed out, man, he. He piled up a whole pile of his dead soldiers and, uh, and took a picture of it and put it up on Telegram. Uh, I, I saw it. It was whew, horrible. And, I, and I'm, I'm sure that the people in Russia saw the uh, picture. Uh, nobody here in the United States will see it. Um, but anyway, 
and uh, and and he said, you know, if you're not going to give me my ammo, this is this is the result. I, I'm going to have nothing but dead mercenaries. And uh, so uh, anyway, the 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 good outcome for Russia, uh, in my opinion, was that uh, they they their ammo is on its way. <laughs> ammo and trench digging tools are on its way to uh, to him uh, working up in Bakhmut uh, to uh, basically surround and and destroy the uh, remaining Ukrainians there. Um, so he made his he made his point. Um, boy, I tell you that I was surprised that they capitulated but I, I imagine Putin had a, a piece in that he probably said you know what we don't need these feuds in our military or with our mercenaries give him what he wants and uh, and so that, that that's just my assessment of that uh, so we'll see uh, let's get to the next video uh, before I get more into the news um, I got to go down sorry I'm trying to eliminate channels uh, here we go yeah let's here we go and I hope I've eliminated the video that caused... I had a copyright uh, violation, uh, which doesn't give you a strike on YouTube, which is good. I mean, you know, if somebody's got copyright, I got no problem with that. You know, I mean, they, you know, my, my, my videos are uh, uh, creative commons. If you want to use any content for my videos anywhere on, on the Internet, because I'm trying to help the world. And I understand everybody has to make a profit, so it's okay to copyright your video. And you know what? If I if I put a shitload of work into a video, I would want it copyrighted. So uh, and I and I'll show you the video when I get down there. Um, so oh this this is cute. Uh, <laughs> George Soros. I tell you what, he's ninety two years old. Maybe the, the, the this evil son of a bitch is going to go away. Let's see. The melting of the in Greenland ice sheet affects. Uh, 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 um, why even wants to be on the political scene? I have no idea. I'd be with my grandchildren and my dog at his age. Yeah, he just, he just, he just can't relinquish his power. It's unbelievable. These, these, these megalomaniacs or whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Narcissist. Or, that's what they called me once upon a time. I'm not a narcissist. I mean, I tell you what, I tore into that. Uh, it was a VA doctor that called me a narcissist. Um, well, let's get this one. This is real quick. Uh, I think this is in Germany because I think they're saying, well, I'll, 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 I'll let you watch the video because uh, I, I got to get back into the news here in just a second. But check this out. Die meisten Kriege in Angriffskriege nach dem Zweiten Weltkrieg geführt die USA. Wir, ihr alle, und ich, wir wollen Frieden. Auch mit Russland, ja mit Russland, Frieden mit Russland. Ohne Russland wird es nie Frieden in Europa geben. Ist das German? I don't know. Ist das German? Sounds German. Das ist in Deutschland. Die USA sehen das ganz anders. Der Hauptziel der amerikanischen Außenpolitik seit über... Anyway, I, I, God dang it, I, th I thought they said Merkel in there somewhere, I don't know, but uh, you tell me. I'm, you know, we, we get so little information here in the United States, all I get is little tidbits from everywhere, and I just kind of show you the tidbits that I get and try to put it all together in a, in a, in a report for you as best I can. Um, I'm just one dude, man. I'm just one dude. And, and then today, I, you know, I uploaded my watching the world burn video and it, 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 it airs out every time I send it. I don't know if it's the Android update on my phone. And then I made another video and I got a copyright violation. And so I'm just doing the best I can. Um, so, yeah, we, well, I've already covered this. Biden since, well, given another 500 million to Ukraine. While our, our trains, by the way, I, I, somebody pointed out today, if we, we spent um, $100 billion on our train system, I doubt we will be seeing any trains derail in the United States. Let's just put it that way. Uh, and I'm surprised that the American people are go along with this shit. Especially, well, the warmongering Democrats, uh, that, the, the people across the United States, uh, they're all for the war. You know, they're all for the war. 
Um, so, uh, uh, this was an interesting uh, little note. Uh, the Georgia Bulldogs uh, were not invited to the White House after a 67-7 to victory. <laughs> And, and 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 by the way, I you know I don't follow college football. Uh, I, I'm just not a, a sports enthusiast. And you know once the once everybody started taking a knee and uh, and and I just I just I don't even watch the I didn't even know who was in the Super Bowl to be honest with you. But uh, but anyway, just and so that's two years in a row that uh, the Biden administration or no the Obama administration, excuse me, uh, didn't invite them to the White House. I, I just thought that was kind of crazy. Um, let's get down to, um, uh, let's see, uh, I'm trying to find another, um, another video before we get, get to the, oh, here we go. This is 22 seconds. Yeah. And before we get to the main event and then, well, the main event will finish up the video. Boy, wouldn't you love as a prepper to have this kind of ammunition in your house? <laughs> I, I tell you what, I'd be out in the forest every day shooting some targets and just having a good time. It'd be uh, it'd be wonderful to have this uh, this stock of weapons. Oh uh, my God! I mean, talk about a prepper's paradise. That would be uh, beautiful. I won't play the special military operations. Uh, I'm trying. I just want to make sure there's not one thing that I left unturned. Um, by the way, this this is kind of interesting. Uh, it looks like uh, Biden is signing over our, our medical system to the World Health Organization. As you know, Trump pulled us out of the World Health Organization. Now, is it a big deal? I don't know. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, I don't think anybody in Florida or any, well, certainly Republican states are going to, they're just going to completely freaking ignore this, you know, I mean, so, I mean, the federal government, they might want to abdicate what they think is the country's position uh, on our world health to the uh, globalist, uh, but does it really mean a lot to you as an individual? I don't think so. I mean, you know, I'm not, I don't think DeSantis is going to say, okay, we're going to let some, some uh, bunch of idiots at the World Health Organization dictate uh, our health policies here in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, but I could be wrong. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, maybe uh, Biden's going to send the U.S. military down here to Florida and we'll have a major conflict between our National Guard and him. And we'll see where the National Guard comes up, right? Are they going to fight for Florida? They're going to fight for uh, Washington, D.C. I have a feeling they'd fight for Florida. That's just my opinion on that. So we'll, we'll see where that goes. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I, I just got to get through the last of the news before I get to the main event. The main event, I'm, I'm, I'm baiting you to the end. I'm baiting you to the end. Um, oh, yeah. So after the Georgia Bulldogs weren't invited, the uh, players came out and they called Biden on Twitter, Beijing Biden. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I, I mean, these players actually put this out. I don't know how many of them did, but that's what's reported in the news. They called him Beijing Biden. I tell you what, uh, the Democrats, uh, they're, they're not making any friends uh, anywhere around. I, I think they might be in a little bit of trouble until they uh, nationalize all the illegal immigrants they brought into the country and, and have given them a ton of money in the hope that they'll vote for them. But I guess that's their strategy. That's the only thing I can think that can save them. Uh, oh, yeah, this was uh, Steve Turley. He reported on this today. We got militias at the border. Um, well, we've known they were there. But now he says they've crossed into Mexico and uh, they're engaged in uh, running gun battles with the um, uh, Mexico uh, drug cartels. That's a that's a hell of a, a hell of an event. So let's um, let's let I, I tell you what I'll give you my final commentary. Let's let's bring up the main event, the main event of the video, and uh, this this is huge. Uh, so, you know, as you know, your mainstream media tells you that Putin is the evil dictator. He's the, uh, the worst thing on the planet. Uh, he, he, his people hate him. Uh, he, he puts them in concentration camps. Uh, uh, you know, he tortures people. Uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, and of course, I've tried to show you some of his speeches and stuff if you watch my channel. I, I, I'm not even, I'm just going to kind of watch this with you. I mean, it's... Um, this 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 is unbelievable and, and and as we go through the video i want you to look is because it pans out it's kind of like a trump rally right <laughs> I mean, except trump only gets about you know five to thirty thousand people these are hundreds of thousands and and when they pan outside the stadium 
everybody's packed outside the stadium. I mean, okay, so he, he's a hated, hated guy. He's an evil dictator. Let's watch this. и святое недаром одна из самых известных молитв начинается со слов отче наш отче отец и в этом есть что-то очень близкое каждому человеку мы ведь говорим тоже родина мать речь идет о семье речь идет о чем-то огромном мощном и в то же время близком сердцу каждого человека это и Родина – это и семья. А по большому счету, и Родина – это семья в нашем сердце – это одно и то же. И есть люди, вот они здесь стоят, рядом со мной, слева, справа, есть люди, которые принимают для себя решение strong, защищать powerful, самое святое и самое дорогое у нас есть. Семью – The fatherland and the family are both inextricably linked. They coexist in our hearts. And the people around, the people to the left and to the right, the people who have made the decision to protect what they hold dear, to protect the most sacred thing in their lives, their family, and their country. Такие же мужественные бойцы, so которые today, здесь стоят сейчас, рядом с нами. Они сражаются героически, event, мужественно, храбро. Мы гордимся ими, о том, что прямо здесь. Гордимся. И приезжайте, трижды, ура! Они должны услышать are parents being encouraged as those who are present here before us. They are fighting heroically, bravely, and they take immense courage in them. And I propose that we give them a salute three times. They must hear us. They must hear that they are supported by the entire country. And this means that everyone who shouts out, who shows their support, is also a protector of the fight. And the doctors and nurses who help the wounded, those who help take care of their children and those who serve the transport industry and the defense sector and all of you here today, you're all part of this. Thank you. Even the children, the children will write letters in support of our fighters are making an important contribution. And this means that today, as we stand to protect our interests, our culture, language, and territories, every one of you, every citizen of Russia is a protector and a defender. So I bow down before you and congratulate you Look at the people outside. 
Oh, well, most hated man in history, huh? Yeah, uh, the Russians uh, slow to anger. They've ended every army that has ever come against them for hundreds of years. Hate them or love them. The evil Russians. Seem terribly unhappy. Whew. Believe your Western propaganda. Most hated man in history. There you go. There must be snipers trained on all those people to make them do that, huh? But they must have. They must have all been trained to do this. Every single one of them. Yep, yep, there must be uh, some propaganda machine that told them, if you don't cheer, we're going to kill you. Yeah, yeah, Russia, they're not, they're not for this war at all, I, I can tell you. They, they're hurting people, they're unhappy. What can you say? Know, these people look just... What does Ura mean, by the way? Is that like a Marine Corps uh, call-out? Ura? Russia! Calling the first analyst Tariq Asadi says the West failure to show itself as a reliable partner has pushed countries around the world to turn their back on the dollar. What has been uh, gone actually without saying for Iran is that the West is not a part to be trusted. As a result, uh, the country has tried to widen the scope of the yeah, I don't think the Russians feel like they're at total war. Maybe this was the copyright. It might have been this music. I don't know if this is Western music. I'd like to think it's Russian. Boy, I'd hate to get another copyright violation, but I'm going to put this up on Rumble. We'll see. Every time I try to upload a video on YouTube, and maybe YouTube has banned me at this point. By the way, uh, I did. I didn't pause it at the right point because I did that in previous videos. Uh, he talked about the um, uh, the uh, medical personnel that are aiding the uh, uh, Russian front troops uh, with ambulances and everything. And, uh, and so a tactic, uh, according to the Russians now, I mean, you know, it's Russian propaganda, it's got to be Russian propaganda, is what the Ukrainians will do is they'll uh, lob in the uh, uh, artillery and they'll uh, kill some Russian soldiers. And then they'll wait, you know, kind of like, uh, uh, you know, we, we've seen these tactics and with uh, bombers and stuff like that. They'll wait till the emergency personnel roll in and then they'll attack the emergency personnel. So... Today, there was an ambulance crew uh, reported by the Russians that, and, I, you know, okay, it's only, what, six people that died, two women. Um, if that's true, I mean, that's kind of an evil thing to do. I mean, why would you want to kill medical personnel? I understand soldiers, you know, uh, but uh, anyway, if that's, and I'm telling you, it could be Russian propaganda. You, And that's what I'm trying to tell you. you. You form your own opinion. I'm just trying to give you the both sides of the story, you know, it's it's all, everything's a gray area. Um, that, of course, that was the Defender of the Fatherland Day uh, celebration, if you didn't know. Um, and that, uh, Basically, when uh, Nazi Germany, and that's what they feel like they're fighting now, is Nazi Germany all over again. So um, just make of that what you will. Uh, so that, that was their huge celebration. And uh, boy, I tell you, they look kind of fired up to me. I, you, you, you give me what you want. It was a survey that came out in Russia, and I thought this was very interesting. Uh, um, 
we had 70 78% of the Russians who uh, watched uh, Putin considering um, that his uh, speech uh, that I showed you on in a previous video uh, they, they thought it was sincere so I mean and you know I, I would have thought it'd be more than 78 percent but then the, then again I mean every time I watch a Trump speech <laughs> he, he only gets uh, I don't know I don't know what his numbers are I mean you know but it, you, you always think well damn I was that was damn convincing and then you think everybody's got to believe that no hell no you, there's always uh, people um, that that don't uh, don't agree with it I we got this uh, situation uh, developing in Maldo Maldovo Moldova and uh, trans transnif transnif nifiga. Uh, anyway, there's this huge ammo dump there, and uh, we're going to see. Russia says that Ukraine is uh, trying to stage a, a, a putting putting their troops in Russian uniforms, and they're going to come across, and that somebody's going to snatch this ammo dump, and. And it doesn't look like the, the Russians have the troops down there to get it. Uh, in Ukraine, I think they're making moves on it. So we may now have we may now have a new front to the war, and uh, down in this area. So uh, well, let's see what happens. Uh, oh, a cute cute story was uh, uh, there's this company in uh, Czechoslovakia that's making inflatable HIMARS, <laughs> you know, the, like inflatable tanks and stuff. So they're, they're, they're hoping that they're going to draw in Russian artillery on all these inflatables, you know, kind of like when you put in your front yard the, uh, the abominable snowman or, or uh, uh, Santa Claus, uh, I guess. And they look, I tell you what, they look pretty realistic. I was, uh, I was like uh, crazy. Uh, the other news is Wagner captures uh, a... God knows. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. Bar Bar. Well, I'll try it. Bar Kivka. B e r k h i u k a. I'm sorry. It just looks like a jumbled alphabet to me. Uh, let's get another video before I get to the last of the news. I told you this was going to be a long video, and I don't know if a YouTube will ever post this video. I'm maybe I've committed some other copyright violation. You never know. Um, um, uh, let's see. I did. Daggone it, I had a couple more. Oh, this is this is a weird video. Um, so the WEF deleted, deleted this video, and, and if you ever follow the WEF, they, they wanted to put you know everybody into these huge cities, but I think that now that Russia and China are rewriting the world, <laughs> I think their plans are falling apart. Even though they still got billions upon billions or trillions of dollars, but we'll see. had a copyright on this. I might have just screwed my video. Well, I'll try cutting this out if, if this video doesn't upload. The video that I think that uh, that I had to cut out was, uh, was a cartoon about a guy getting an abortion. <laughs> That's, uh, I don't know if the I don't follow anime, but it was it, it was cute, and, uh, and Russia's playing it around as propaganda. So even though it's copyrighted, I guess uh, Russia doesn't care about U.S. copyrights, do they? All right, so uh, let's get the, let's get that weapons. Well, that's it. Oh, uh, let's get the last the uh, stuff here. The Florida data on the jab has come out, and it's actually being reported on in uh, YouTube. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to report on it. I don't want my channel taken down. I've, I've already had one strike about talking about the jab. Um, but uh, you seem to be able to talk about this now. If you watch Peak Prosperity, uh, um, he was was talking about things, and uh, you might want to watch his video. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, he was... Um, damn, I can't remember exactly what he said, so just... Just go tune into him. Uh, and of course, you know, we do remember, oh, yeah, the, what he was talking about was the interview with the football player uh, where he just could not talk about the cause of his cardiac arrest. 
Wasn't that the Buffalo Bills? Uh, I think that was the Buffalo Bills, uh, that, that football game. And uh, and so what he said was, you know, wasn't it interesting that he had to shut up about everything? I don't know. You tell me. It's uh, good, 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 good to live in the free, free, free Republican state of Florida. Let's hope this video goes up. I, you know, I'm sorry, people. I, I, I try to report on things as best I can. I don't know when I'm violating things. I don't have a team of lawyers. I'm just one dude trying to do the best I can and show you what's going on in the world. Try to talk about things. Try to educate you. Uh, so anyway, it's great to leave, uh, live in the free state of Florida and the great leadership of Governor DeSanctimonious.